Lightning. I'd like to show you how to add photo or link photo using QGIS of 3.4 up to 3.8 onwards. So I'll open my QGIS application here and I'll browse that particular layer which I learned to link the photo. So I'll add my vector here, rows. And this is my layer structures. I'll add it. On adding these, these are the layers for structures which I'd like to add photo. So the first thing is I look at the attribute table. Yeah. Okay, I have structures here, drift covered bridge, covered covered. So I need to make a column here of photos. So I'll activate the pencil in editing mode, then I'll create a new field here and name it photo. Then the type, the type should be text first because string, we're going, we're going to copy the file format, I mean <laughs> the directional path. So I'll put string, I'll put any number of values. Okay, so we have a column already, which is here. So I'll make sure I save these edits, then I close. So the next procedure is I'll be using this tool, Identify Feature Tool. Upon clicking on it, I can identify any tool, for instance, this one here. So upon clicking, you see, there is structures, caravat, and photo. So here, because it's text data, you need to copy to that particular path of that particular picture of this color one. So I'll open my desktop here where it is, this folder here. So this is the path. I'll control copy here and I'll paste it here and I'll put slash for a particular picture for the picture I want is this one color word. So I like to rename it again, copy. paste it here okay cover.jpg because it's a picture so upon that i'll just click okay so clicking on okay the next procedure is i'll go to the properties of this right click go to properties so upon clicking on properties it will open so i need to go to go for this fields form i mean form so you need to select that particular photo attribute column then browse to this widget type here. So widget type, make sure it's attachment. Click upon it, then you see it comes. So you have to select the default path so that to link that attachment. So I'll browse here. Then I'll go to particular where there is that picture, the folder. Okay, here you have to select the folder. You see, so I'll go back one step again. Select this folder, and there you go. So here it's selected the path. So I need again to scroll in the same particular widget type. I tick this relative path, so it's linking. File path is checked already. Display checked. And make sure you click this. Use hyperlink for document path, read only. So I'll select this also. Then I'll go, then type of what you're linking. So you should click on this. So it's image. So I should click on image here. So then I go again. Then the width and the height, you can set if you want how many, the dimension pixels is 300 by 400. For instance, I'll put 350 to 350, but you can leave it automatic. So then upon finishing all this, then you come here, apply. Okay, so I'll click apply. Okay, there you go. So going back now to, to my structures layer. So upon clicking on this now, you see, the picture is already here because I've already directed linkly with that particular path. So you see, so after finishing this, you can also add also the other one. For instance, if it's this one here, clicking on this. Okay, let me go for another bridge, for instance, bridge. So what you just require now, you don't have to repeat the whole process. You just browse here, select the bridge, open. There you go. You see, it's done. So this is how to do it using QJS 3.123, all the earlier versions. So you can use this for the, these new versions of QJS, how to add a photo or link a photo to show in QJS in a map which is location referenced.